the, the whole process of development for light pedal uh, made me think about a lot of things. I wanted to find the analog sound with something moving. Can I get a spring tank? My name is Theodors. Uh, I'm a, an electronics engineer and I'm 23 years old. I liked STEM subjects at uh, high school and uh, and at one moment it was really hard to decide what I want to study because uh, I always liked music. That's my passion. The music is my passion. Uh, I thought out that I can I can study electronics. Maybe I could be an electronics engineer and that's my way how I can be really close to music. Uh, I started two and a half years ago and from the beginning I, I didn't know almost anything uh, about guitar pedals. I began with a Memphis distortion pedal and I copied the Memphis distortion pedal. That was my first pedal. There was a lot of freedom for me here. I came to a new job and I can pick up whatever task I want. My target was to, to create something that that's first of all interesting for me and uh, secondly it which is also really important that uh, that uh, all the guys they also find something interesting in the, in that concept and uh, uh, something that can has a potential to be a product from a company like Game Changer Audio. Light pedal is a spring reverb pedal. Uh, so in the center of the concept, there is a there is a spring tank. After after I started the first experiments with the, with the spring tank, it actually was. Uh, can somebody give me? like a screwdriver that's a bit better than this one because this is a bit like okay yes yes much better we we took the spring tank someone was playing guitar we sent the sound to the spring tank and what we tried to do was uh, we just uh, bend this we stretch the strings all the time we put a lot of fuzz uh, to the output and it actually sounded interesting and I, I was showing this to to Ilian Martinch and all the others, and they was like, "Okay, this is mm, mm, there is something, but you know, this is uh, try something else, you know." <laughs> like, so there was a lot of bad ideas with the spring thing at the beginning, and uh, we somehow we we turned to do something something else. We we started to experiment with transducers and with piezo pickups. <laughs> At one moment I was uh, sitting outside at the, at the Red House and I think that I I also I also really like to write songs and I was uh, like writing a song that that's called Good Times <laughs> and I spent uh, two last nights on uh, on that song I was thinking about the song uh, and I was thinking about the experiments and the idea just came, hey, maybe I can pick up the sound uh, with, uh, with optical pairs. So, so this, is, this is how the first experiment looked like. We have an input from guitar that goes to the D-class amplifier. Uh, which sends signal, which amplifies the guitar signal and sends it to the exciter, uh, to the transducer, which excites the springs. So the springs start to vibrate when I'm playing something. And uh, the way how we receive the mechanical uh, fluctuations of the spring tank right now, it's, it's done by red laser diode and the photoresistor. 
So the photoresistor is the output stage, and right now we hear only the wet signal. Like, we hear only the optical reverb. So... to demo you how we can uh, change the location of the spring tank. <laughs> it's, it's a really raw experiment, so, you, so we are using the photoresistor which, uh, which is pretty slow. Uh, uh, so we cannot get the high frequencies out of the spring tank right now. That's why we hear only the, 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 the low ones. When we performed the first, first experiment in the uh, summer of tw 2019, uh, we were all amazed by the sound of, of, the, of that uh, optical technology. You can hear different overtones of the spring and the overtones are dependent on from which point of the spring you are receiving the sound. It took like half of half of a year to complete the first prototype. Okay, the first prototype was that we we brought to to 2020 NAM show. When people hear it in the NAM show, I'm really happy that they like like the pedal at that point, but it was not completed at that point. Not at all. So we just it took one more year. To, to, com to complete it, to fine-tune anything, to get everything that we could out of the spring tank, it, it just took a lot of research. Okay, firstly, there were problems with noise from all the sides, you know. The infrared LEDs are noisy if you don't drive them in an optimal manner. Secondly, you need to develop low-noise photodiode amplifier. Then you need to, to drive the spring tank as much as you can not to burn it down, so we can amplify uh, the, the optical signal a bit less. There was a huge problem with feedback. Those optical pairs were like uh, acting like microphones. It took a lot of prototypes. It took a lot of different schematical ideas. I, I was working on the light pedal for one and a half of a year, and that's the first uh, experience for me that I'm putting my energy to one specific thing uh, that, that much time. When you're playing piano, there's like one way how you write the songs. You have a lot of strings and you can open them with the sustain pedal and you can put a big chord and you got a lot of power. It's one way uh, how you can think about your composition. Uh, okay. When you got the Wurlitzer, you you start to play the keys differently. Okay. So, I don't know, it's, it's just this riff, for example. That's, that's another way how, how the instrument and the, the sound of the instrument uh, is, uh, like, is um, inspiring you. So the light pedal has a reverb sound that's, uh, that you cannot get anywhere else. And uh, we haven't heard that before. And you immediately use the reverb differently. Together with, uh, with my friends, we are trying to cover one uh, song which is uh, written in the 1970s. Yeah, the band is called uh, Cathedral, which is cathedral in uh, English. That's one of the first bands that 
wrote original rock music in uh, in uh, in Latvia. At the recording, there's a, there's a slow slow uh, slow guitar which goes like. I wanted to find the analog sound with something moving. And I didn't want to use the light pedal at, at first because I, I, I have heard it too much uh, at, that, at that point. Then I thought, out, okay, let's try the light pedal, let's try the sweep function. Sweeping from between different sensors, you can make it like dependent, uh, the rate of that sweep can be dependent on your dynamics, for example like this. So. Which, uh, which uh, like allo allows you to only have the reverb when you are actually playing. <laughs> like. With the with the sweep mode, I I just I just got what I wanted, and that was yeah, that was amazing because uh, at that point I believed that. What, what I'm trying to, to build is something that could be actually useful for musicians. Yeah, like that. This is the first time I'm doing this. Yes. No, no, it's not the other that cost money. For me personally, the project is not done yet. <laughs> Thank you. 